the Logitech MX Brio Ultra, Logitech C922, XPro, Razer KyoPro Ultra, Elgato Facecam Men K2, and Insta360 Link 2 are the most popular webcams for Mac of 2025, but which is the absolute best. We are going to compare them to each other and score them in various categories, with some categories holding more weight than others. In the end, we'll decide which is the best one based on the final score, and we will declare the absolute winner. Let's dive in. First, we are going to compare them on the video quality category, which has a multiplier of two. Starting with the Logitech MX Brio Ultra, this webcam delivers stunning 4K video at 30 frames per second, making it a top choice for those who need high resolution. However, I noticed some banding issues under LED lighting, which can be a drawback for professional setups. It scores a solid 8 out of 10 for its impressive detail and color accuracy, but the LED banding issue holds it back from perfection. Moving on to the Logitech C922 X Pro, it offers full HD 1080p video at 30fps and 720p at 60fps, which is great for streaming and video calls. The autofocus and light correction work well, but the lack of a privacy shutter is a notable omission. It gets a 7 out of 10 for its reliable performance and good value for money. Now, let's talk about the Razer Kyo Pro Ultra. This webcam boasts a 4K resolution with a large sensor, providing excellent low-light performance and a wide dynamic range. However, it's limited to 30 FPS at 4K, which might not be ideal for fast-paced streaming. It earns a 9 out of 10 for its superior image quality and innovative features, like the built-in privacy shutter. Next up, the Elgato Facecam MK2 offers uncompressed 1080p video at 60 FPS, which is fantastic for streaming. The image quality is sharp, but the colors can appear a bit washed out, and there's no built-in microphone. It scores a 7.5 out of 10 for its crisp video and decent performance in low light, though it lacks some of the bells and whistles of its competitors. Finally, we have the Insta360 Link 2. This webcam provides phenomenal 4K video quality with excellent low light performance and AI tracking capabilities. The only minor flaw is that the tracking can sometimes lose sight of you. It gets a 9.5 out of 10 for its outstanding video quality, making it the clear winner in this category. The Insta360 Link 2 takes the crown for video quality with its 4K resolution and superior low light performance, earning it a well-deserved 9.5 out of 10. Next, we are going to compare them on the compatibility with Mac devices category, which has a multiplier of two. The Logitech MX Brio Ultra is a standout choice for Mac users, offering seamless integration with Mac OS, iPadOS, and iOS devices. It's certified for Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet, ensuring you're ready for any virtual meeting. However, its high-end features come at a premium price, which might not be justified for casual users. I give it a solid 8 out of 10 for its compatibility and performance. Moving on to the Logitech C922X Pro, this webcam is plug-and-play compatible with Mac, requiring no additional software for basic functions. It supports Mac OS and can be used with the Logi Capture app for more advanced settings. While it doesn't offer the same level of integration as the MX Brio, its affordability and ease of use make it a great choice for budget-conscious Mac users. I rate it 7 out of 10 for its straightforward compatibility. Now, let's talk about the Razer Kyo Pro Ultra. While it works fine in a plug-and-play situation with any Mac, the lack of native software support for Mac OS means you'll need to use third-party apps like Camo to adjust settings. This can be a bit of a hassle, but the camera's image quality is impeccable, making it a strong contender for those willing to navigate the software workaround. I give it 6 out of 10 for its compatibility challenges. The Elgato Facecam M Take 2 is compatible with Apple Silicon natively, ensuring smooth operation on M1 and M2 Max. However, its companion software, Camera Hub, is resource intensive and not as user friendly as some might hope. Despite this, its compatibility with Macy OS and the ability to record in 1080p at 60fps make it a decent option. I rate it 7.5 out of 10 for its compatibility and performance. Finally, we have the Insta360 Link 2, which is designed to work seamlessly with Macy OS, offering a range of features through its dedicated software. It supports Mac OS 10.13 or later, ensuring broad compatibility across Mac devices. The gimbal-mounted design and auto-tracking features make it a versatile choice for video calls and streaming. Its compatibility and feature set earn it a 9 out of 10 in this category. The Insta360 Link 2 takes the crown in the compatibility with Mac devices category with a score of 9, thanks to its native support for Macy OS and extensive feature set tailored for Mac users. Next, we are going to compare them on the mounting options and flexibility category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The Logitech MX Brio Ultra comes with a sleek, adjustable mount that can be bent and positioned in multiple ways. It even has a show mode feature, allowing you to tilt the camera down to show your desk, which is great for artists or card game streamers. However, the mount's flexibility might be a bit limited for some users. I give it a 7 out of 10 for its innovative design but slightly restrictive movement. 
Moving on to the Logitech C922X Pro, this webcam offers versatile mounting options with a built-in clip for monitors or laptops and a tripod mount for standalone positioning. The included 5-foot cable provides ample length for optimal camera position, but the clip might not be as sturdy as some would like. It scores a 6.5 out of 10 for its flexibility, but slightly less secure mounting. Now, let's talk about the Razer Kyo Pro Ultra. It features a universal tripod mounting point, allowing for easy attachment to tripods without removing the mount. The mount also has a rubberized non-slip material for extra stability. However, the cable is a bit stiff, which can make positioning a bit tricky. I rate it 8 out of 10 for its solid mounting options, but slightly less flexible cable. The Elgato Facecam MK2 sports a highly adjustable monitor clamp with a universal screw beneath for mounts. It's designed to be compact, reducing its footprint, but the included USB 3.0 cable is incredibly rigid, which can interfere with camera positioning. It gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its compact design and good mounting options, but the cable rigidity is a downside. Finally, we have the Insta360 Link 2. This webcam comes with a magnetic mount that can easily attach to your laptop or monitor, and it also has a standard tripod thread for more customized mounting options. The gimbal design allows for ultimate flexibility in tracking movements. However, the magnetic mount might not be as secure as some would prefer. It earns a 9 out of 10 for its versatile and flexible mounting options. The Insta360. Link 2 takes the lead in this category with its innovative magnetic mount and gimbal design scoring 9 points for its unmatched flexibility and ease of use. Next, we are going to compare them on the ease of use and setup category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The Logitech MX Brio Ultra is a plug-and-play webcam, ready to go straight out of the box. All you have to do is attach the mount and plug in the USB-C cord, and the driver automatically downloads. It was easy to set up this camera with my Zoom, OBS Studio, and Streamlabs software. However, the customization options for this webcam may vary depending on the software you're using, which can be a bit confusing. Rating, 8 out of 10, moving on to the Logitech C922X Pro. It's well known for its reliability and ease of use, making it a great choice for both beginners and experienced content creators. The setup is straightforward, thanks to its plug-and-play functionality. Simply connect it to your computer via USB, and it's ready to go. The downside is that the software can occasionally be slow to respond, but once set up, it works smoothly. Rating, 7.5 out of 10. Now, let's talk about the Razer Kyo Pro Ultra. Despite its intimidating size, this webcam is very easy to set up, being plug-and-play. It has a 1.5-meter braided cable that may be pretty thick, but is manageable. However, its size makes it unsuitable for mounting on any laptop screen, which can be a bit of a hassle if you're on the go. Rating, 7 out of 10. The Elgato Facecam MK2 can be configured with Elgato's Camera Hub software, which offers detailed control over exposure and image settings. It's fairly easy to set up, with the software providing a handful of processing effects and customizable presets. However, the lack of a built-in microphone might be an inconvenience for some users. Rating, 6.5 out of 10. Finally, we have the Insta360 Link 2. It's easy to use and set up, perfect for everything from basic web conferencing to podcasting and live streaming. The cameras connect via USB, and the computer automatically recognizes them as webcams. However, to make the most of their abilities, you'll need to download the Insta360 Link software, which might be an extra step for some users. Rating, 9 out of 10. 9 out. The Insta360 Link 2 takes the lead in the ease of use and setup category with a score of 9 out of 10 thanks to its seamless setup process and comprehensive software support. Finally, we are going to compare them on the price to performance ratio category, which has a multiplier of 3. The Logitech MX Brio Ultra is a premium choice with its 4K resolution and advanced features like AI enhanced lighting and a built-in microphone. However, its high price tag might not justify the performance for casual users. It's a solid performer, but the value for money could be better, 7 out of 10. Moving on to the Logitech C922X Pro, this webcam offers full HD resolution at a much more affordable price. It's plug and play, making setup a breeze, but it lacks some of the advanced features of its pricier siblings. Still, for the price, it delivers good quality video and audio, 8 out of 10. Now, let's talk about the Razer Kyo Pro Ultra. This webcam boasts DSLR light quality with its large sensor and wide aperture, providing excellent image quality even in low light. However, its software can be frustrating, and the price is steep for what you get. It's a high-end option, but not the best value. 6 out of 10. The Elgato Facecam MK2 is a budget-friendly option for those needing 1080p 60fps video. It's lightweight with a built-in privacy shutter, but the HDR feature is underwhelming, and the plastic chassis feels a bit cheap. For its price, it offers good performance, but there are better options for those not needing 60fps. 7.5 out of 10. Finally, we have the Insta360 Link 2. This AI-powered 4K webcam provides excellent video quality with features like AI tracking and gesture control. 
While some features can be inconsistent, the overall package at this price point is impressive, offering great value for both content creators and professionals. Nine out of 10. The Insta360 Link 2 takes the crown in the price to performance ratio with its nine points, offering a compelling mix of features and affordability that makes it the best choice for those looking to maximize their investment. The results of our comparison show each product shines in its own way, but the Insta360 Link 2 stands out with its score of 91. After personally testing all the contenders, I found that the Insta360 Link 2 truly excels in combining video quality compatibility with Mac devices and an impressive price to performance ratio. Its seamless integration into any setup, combined with versatile mounting options and remarkable ease of use, clearly sets it apart from the competition. The AI tracking and gesture control features are just the cherry on top for those seeking a robust and innovative solution. As for the other contenders, they each offer their unique strengths but fall just a little short of the leader. The Logitech MX Brio Ultra offers formidable performance with a solid score of 75.5, delivering excellent Mac compatibility and a user-friendly experience. Meanwhile, the Elgato Facecam MK2 and Logitech C922 X Pro are neck and neck in delivering great performance at lower price points, scoring 73.5 and 73 respectively. Lastly, the Razer KyoPro Ultra, while slightly behind with a score of 70.5, still commands attention with its exceptional image quality, proving that it holds a worthy spot for those who prioritize video performance the most.